As the boulders, rocks and cement thick mud began tumbling down the mountains near Montecito, Calif. Last week, residents were shocked at the ferocity. By the time the storm had passed, at least 20 people had died, and hundreds of homes had been destroyed. Geologists and officials in Santa Barbara say it is still too early to know precisely how and why last week's mudslides became so lethal. But they are already studying satellite imagery to help determine the path of the deadly debris, in the hopes that understanding what happened will prevent similar calamities in the future. Wildfires in December charred much of the hills in the area, burning the chaparral all along the foothills. Fire effectively changes the soil, making it more slippery and far more prone to erosion than healthy land. It was pretty rare, in essence a worst-case scenario from that standpoint, said Jonathan Gott, an expert in landslide hazards for the United States Geological Survey. The same rainfall that falls on a burned landscape can cause a lot more damage than it would before a fire. While commonly called mudslides, scientists refer to them as debris flows, the scientific term to describe what is flowing downhill. The hills above Montecito are filled with small channels less than a meter wide, and these channels can quickly become overwhelmed during a powerful storm, 